I'm here in Malaga and it's my third day for my language course. Um, I'm learning Spanish, or at least I try to. I uh, have four weeks and I think it's interesting to share my thoughts about language school. Um, because in my opinion, sometimes when you do something, you get accustomed to it, so you get used to it. And then you can't really remember how it was in the beginning. So I think it's interesting to kind of um, film how it was in the beginning and also maybe give an insight how one can feel we're in a language course in a completely different country. So the first three days um, were quite weird. I mean, it's actually still weird. Um, it's beautiful, definitely. And it's really warm, really nice. Um, but I mean, there are some there are some cultural differences which one needs to get used to. For example, I'm from Austria and I have lived uh, in Austria and in Denmark. And both of these countries are quite rich. Um, and here in Spain, for example, I'm living with a host family. And my host mom told me that I shouldn't use the light too much um, because the light costs quite a lot. Um, so I should like remember switching it off. And also I asked her if I can use the kitchen and she said I can use the microwave but I'm not allowed to use like the kitchen itself and I think it's because I would use too much energy um, which is totally di different than it would be in Austria and in Denmark because in Austria and Denmark nobody would think about um, you know telling you that you shouldn't use the light or you shouldn't use the kitchen because it costs too much and I think it's it's something that is like the reality of the people here so yeah it's just different um, and also for example there are like loads of small things that uh, come to my mind which are different and it's it's interesting to see for example um, like the dog culture um, in Spain, the dogs are, first of all, like 50% of the dogs are they just go um, behind their owners without a leash on. So they just, they just walk behind their owners and, and that's it, which is quite funny. Um, because in Austria and in Denmark, or especially in Denmark, you would never see a dog without a leash or like really seldomly. Um, and in Spain, like the dogs attack each other quite a lot. <laughs> and how Spanish people handle it, they just say nothing. They don't, they don't even look at the other person and they just take the dog and they just drag the dog like further down <laughs> and, and that's it. And in Denmark, if like two dogs attack each other, then the owners are quite embarrassed and they're like, oh no, no. and you know and um, it never does that or um, it's just like oh no no you're a bad dog no no <laughs> which is quite funny a funny difference um, and definitely I mean the, the weather is completely different especially com opposed to Denmark um, because it's warm <laughs> and it doesn't rain um, and in Denmark it's not that warm and it, it rains and I totally get why Spanish people often um, do siesta because I do it myself like first day I didn't even think about it I was just falling asleep from half past two to half past five. <laughs> oh, that's a long time um, yeah I was just tired obviously I had like jet lag and stuff like that but the second day I slept as well because I was tired from language school um, and yeah, it's 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 interesting because because it's so warm, so it's it's really getting hard doing something between one and five ish. Um, yeah, so that's another thing. Like the weather influences how you act and it influences how you behave, um, which is interesting. Another note. Um, so language school itself, um, I'm studying Spanish for four weeks at the University of Malaga and I'm having 20 hours of 
um, lectures a week, so that's four hours a day, from 9 o'clock a.m. to um, 1 o'clock. And it's intensive, like it's just, just four hours, but I'm at level A2, which means I had, like, I'm, I'm pretty much beginner, but I had some previous um, lectures. And the, the lecturer, she just talks Spanish non-stop for hours and we need to talk together and she just talks about grammar and she just talks about like stories and, and everything and it's, it's so hard for the brain because it, the brain always tries to make sense of it. Um, and if when there is so many things that you don't understand, you try to understand the body language, you, try to understand gestures and facial expressions and everything um, and you, so you, there's like a total overload of information going on which really makes you tired um, at least me um, <laughs> the others actually don't look that tired um, but I also think I'm I'm challenged the most or like one of the persons that is challenged the most because some of them had four years of Spanish in school and I just had one course prior to this for six months and one and a half hours a week um, so it's definitely tiring but it's also really interesting to observe how brain really tries to make sense of it and really mm, starts understanding things um, and that's actually a quite liberating um, feeling it's really nice having this feeling of oh you know what i didn't understand that yesterday but i do understand it today so i'm really looking forward to my progression in the next four weeks um, it will be very interesting and yeah i'm gonna keep you up to date <laughs> 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 <laughs>